Hey everybody, it's Andrew the Moo, and uh, there's some things I'm going to need to go ahead and go over right now. Some differences we're going to notice about this game in comparison with uh, the other game. Um, first, the castle Frankenstein must come. It's the site of Dracula's greatest ambition. The place where he believes he can bring his progeny to life. You must besiege it. And rest it from its grasp. Yeah, um, I said game a moment ago. I should say, uh, with Van Helsing, um, you murderer. Uh, you're gonna notice that Van Helsing, uh, has some guns that he didn't have in the previous episode. The reason for that is because of the fact that I recorded this. I thought I had everything down pat, had the issues, had to run everything through a handbrake, uh, to fix the videos, and then... Noticed all of a sudden, hey, uh, something has happened. Why don't I have this episode? Somehow Handbrake either deleted it, never actually did the episode, or I accidentally deleted it before I Handbraked it. I don't know what happened. Something happened. So I had two options. I could either, A, re-record the game from the very beginning. Um... Having, you know, none of the stuff and play through it all over again. And I thought to myself, there's no way on, on, on this earth that I'm going to do that. Or I could, you know, stop the game. Or I could re-record the game using, uh, you know, the, the hey, we're going to redo everything and go from there. Um, and, and basically, the, the game allows you to restart it from the beginning after you've beaten the game. And uh, you, 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 you have all of your progress. So you can go to areas that you, you know, didn't, you know, you couldn't visit before and, and use items that, you know, you, you had just gotten or things of that nature. And I went, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain I'm going to do that. You see, we got these enemies, these bats, and I decided I was just going to swing back and forth just to see if maybe I could get past them without getting hurt. Uh, just out of curiosity's sake and see, you know, what I could do. But, um, bats are basically like every other little fry, uh, frying, flying minion in this game. There's really an honestly... You basically have the same enemies throughout this game, but different skins for the most part. And that's slightly aggravating. Well, I wouldn't say it's aggravating, but it's... I don't know. I, I just... Ooh, looky there. Looky there. It's... Van Helsing sees something. It's Velkin! Hello, Vilkin, my friend. I, I I would dare say it's slightly uh, it's slightly aggravating going through the game, and so I don't know why I would want to go through the game without any of the other things. Uh, but we enter into this cave section. We're we're trying to make our way back to Castle Frankenstein, and honestly, I don't know what I can say about the plot to this game right now, other than the fact it loosely follows the movie. It kind of opens things up from the uh, movie that weren't explained in the movie, and at the same time, it uh, answers questions that no one ever asked, and asks questions no one ever answered. Um, that That's basically how I'm going to define the plot to this game. And yes, I'm going to continue through this until we finish it out, because of the fact that there, there's a part of me that just wants to... I want to have this completionist attitude to certain games. Now, I will say, this enemy right here, I do find kind of cool, even though you can't see it. It's like a shadow bat. And uh, the way it works is you see it kind of goes down into the ground and then pops up elsewhere, leaving this uh, black substance. If you step into the black substance, it, um, it damages you. So, like, it leaves this residue behind that hurts you after death. And I thought that was pretty neat. I, I think you get the katana, like, down here. So in the next episode, I may have the katana swinging it around. I, I distinctly remember having the katana here because of a f further uh, a, a thing that we're seeing up ahead. I had to cheese my way through it using the katanas. But you get the katana in that cave. Ah, Van Helsing is walking some more. And <sighs> further up to Castle Frankenstein. Oh. <sighs> That wasn't an awkward pause. I had to yawn. It's kind of early in the morning right now, and I'm tired. Up, up, and now we enter. Oh, it's Velkin. He's smart. Wait. Velkin has split in two, and he doesn't have fangs. He's got regular chompers. I just noticed those things don't have any fangs on them. They're just like, uh, ow. I lost my hat. 
By the way, I, I want you to know that the hat has become, like, something very important to me. But yeah, the katana oh, works wonders against these guys. Like, I, I would definitely recommend the katana um, against these little miniature werewolves. Uh, they, they, they do so... They do beautiful things to them, as you saw just a moment ago. The hat, though, I don't know what it is, but as I started playing through the game, I started becoming more cognizant of whether or not Van Helsing was wearing the hat. There's a code that you can unlock, or rather a cheat you can unlock by, um, you know, with Van Helsing's hat. Uh, honestly, I did not do that. I, I didn't try to get the passcode or the cheat or anything. But, um, yeah, if you can beat the game without losing your hat, or with your hat, uh, keeping your hat at the very end of every level, um, there's a cheat code that you can get. I have no clue what it is. It's probably just as useless as most of the other cheats in this game. Even though I do, just out of curiosity, decide to show off one or two, you see how that made just mincemeat out of him. The 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 works so well. Works so so well. This, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the second most annoying boss fight in the entire game. And that's the reason why, because of the fact that the, the way the camera works, you can't keep up with Velkin. And what he's going to do is he's going to get angry, he's going to charge, and he's going to, at some point, jump and start crawling around the wall. And he's going to do that charging attack. Problem with that is, you can't always see him. Because you can't always see him, you can't always deal with him. And that, my friends, is probably the seat. There you go. He's he's off screen now. Now you can you can say, well, don't you need to move where you can see him? Yeah, you kind of can, but at the same time, because as wonky as the camera is, you can see it still makes things difficult because as I'm moving, it's barely moving. So I mean, but he's gonna make a growling sound. If you can hear the growling sound more often than not, when you you know he disappears like that and you hear the growling sound. That means he's going to charge at you. Grab the hat, Van Helsing. But, like, I don't know what it is. For some reason, that just always struck me as being more difficult than it had any right to be. Um, for this boss, I would recommend what I'm using right now. Uh, use the left button, I think it is, in order to uh, charge up its attack as you can. And, uh, well, that's death. And death. And just attack with it. Otherwise, fighting him hand-to-hand -hand is not the smartest thing to do in the world. You fight him hand-to-hand, -hand, you're going to die. You're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen. You're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die, going to die, going to die, 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 die. And you get tackled right there by Velkin. And I, you see, we did the jump cut just then. And uh, he, at most of his energy is down, thankfully. I decided to run with the pistol on this one because... I figured, all right, let's, let's try the pistol. Let's see what the pistol can do for us. What can the pistol do for you? And you see just how well it's working against Velkin. Most of the bosses, most of the enemies in this game, you don't even have to use. Don't you love how Velkin and Igor and other enemies can suddenly just teleport around as they see fit? But that's how they do. They teleport. And we got another cutscene. I didn't actually do this cutscene on purpose because it's just like, hey. All right, bye. That's basically the cutscene right there. So I'm like, I really don't feel like dealing with that. But like the enemies in this game can just teleport from place to place to place. And I'm going, what in the world is wrong with them? I'm not understanding all of this. Why, why, why? 
And I, I don't understand how we've got little werewolves. Little werewolves. And I just said, nope, nope, don't care, whatever. Dad, take your little werewolves and you can, you can, you can, you can do something with them. I'm not dealing with your little werewolves. Heard a noise behind me. My wife decided to shut the door to my office. She's like, I'm tired of you. Tired of listening to you complain about Van Helsing. Tired of it, tired of it, tired of it. Oh, pause the game by accident, I guess. No, looking... What, what am I doing? Uh, inventory... Oh, I almost died. That's why. And that's 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 a good thing to do. I don't do that enough. I don't pay attention to the life replenisher. And as you can see, I walked into the residue left behind that one enemy and almost d -d 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 died. All right. There we go. Ammo replenisher. And look at that. It's the health that we picked up just then. The health that we had lost. Life replenisher. Yay! And celebrating was had by all. Yay! Apparently, I can drop. I can. I can drop down here and. Oh, there's another life replenisher. That is helpful. So there's. Oh no no yeah, a light increaser. I'm sorry. I I made a mistake. The problem is, once you get down there, you're like, how in the world do I get back up? I take a step back and. Um. Game, can you can you help me out now? So I actually spend a few moments going. Oh, I you gotta walk all the way back there just to get that done. So then you end up coming up to the top, and you have intervals. And I lost my hat, and I lost my hat in a strange position. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right here, and we're gonna come back when I've got those guys dead, and I've got my hat back. See you in a minute. All right, so let's go ahead and get this hat. And I, I, I don't know why, but I spent way too much time trying to get this hat back. I'm like, I want the hat. Got out of that. Give me the hat. And I just, I, I like nudge it, nudge it, nudge it to get it to go. But I got my hat back. Yay, hat. So we're going to make our way up this wonderful, wonderful elevator. Elevator. You know what an elevator is, right, guys? An elevator. You found a life replenisher. Use it to replenish your life. Looking for someone? Let her go. Tell me where the Frankenstein monster hides. We have a deal. Tell me, or say goodbye to your little dreams. I gave my word I'd protect him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, so here's what I'm understanding from the plot so far. By the way, Dracula's fight is more or less the same. I'll show you something new in just a moment. It's good to pay attention, which I'm not doing right now. Um, but it, it, basically, a lot of these attacks are just like at the, um, you know, the first fight. So just, you know, just, just be mindful of those things. A um, couple of things I want to mention just off the top of my head right now. Um... The plot seems to indicate that, you know, Van Helsing and Dracula were good friends and uh, things of that nature. Here you see the new attack. He's going to float on one end, and he's going to do that. He's going to send a whole bunch of spears to attack you, and it's going to kill you. Um, but it seemed like he and Dracula, or he and Van Helsing were friends in the uh, Royal Order, the Knights Templar, and love uh, tore them apart. Wow, I didn't mean that sound the way I did, but, uh, but yeah, um, Dracula apparently fell in love and something happened with Van Helsing and, and Van Helsing killed Dracula. So I don't fully understand the story, but we'll have to try to piece this together as we continue through the game. And that brings us to the end of this level. This is Andrew Moo. We will see you then. We finished with our hat on. Yay, hat.